I think we also promoted Phuket culture, fully promoted. We talk about myself as a make in Phuket all the time. Mm -hmm. And we in believe I, I want to like speak out like a Phuket is have the like more than sea, more than pearl, more than like nightclub on the night. Mm -hmm. We we have the culture. Right. We really, really cool culture. Just as like uh, the building is also the style of the fabric, the style of the culture. This mm -hmm. culture is very beautiful. Sorikat, I'm Michael New, and this is Thailand Today. I'm here in Phuket, in the south of Thailand. It might not be immediately obvious with what's around me, but it is an island. And something that's always struck me with this island is how bold and colorful the fashion is. It turns out there's a reason for this, and it's called batik. Today, we speak with Kun Pong Piwit, Tuotrai Pop, owner of Yayi, known for their beautiful batik dresses. Swadi Kap, thanks for inviting us here today. Thank you so much. Batik. Uh, I'm not very familiar with that term. What is it exactly? The batik is influenced from the Indo-Chinese, from the Indonesian uh, art and culture. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the batik is come from, uh, the name is like a ba is an art. Thick is mean like uh, the ink of the thick, thick, thick on the fabric. Oh, so because they drip it on the fabric. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. This is a kind, kind of art. This is yeah. like one type of art. So, but in batik in Phuket, is different from the Indonesia mm -hmm. because uh, Phuket they have the influence from the, the Peranakan culture mm -hmm. and the Peranakan culture that's like we reflect like uh, the local born mm -hmm. that we reflect the, in the building as the Chino Portuguese and the style as a like a Yonya style we use batik at the salon yeah would you say batik mostly refers to the art then yeah. more than the actual cloth are these all the same type of material, or you it's can use batik on any material? This is different, mm -hmm. right? Uh, like uh, in Phuket, we use uh, we have the batik that influence from the Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Peranakan culture, culture is different from the Indonesia. Uh, okay. Like uh, Peranakan culture, we have influence the like uh, the Chinese culture, right. the Chinese belief, yeah, in the uh, lucky color in the mm -hmm. lucky like animal like a phoenix like so a dragon. for example yeah. oh, okay phoenix and dragon i yeah. was going to say the color red yes the color lucky one right. yeah but in the other hand a like a indonesia we they have the islamic culture they mm. have islamic belief so they cannot write, write down or the art like a just only the geometric form and the ah, simple color like a, the gray and the uh the brown mm -hmm. some color like that but when the culture is moved to the Southeast Asian, mm -hmm. in the Peranakan culture, uh, the color is more colorful and ah, lively. We use this. We use this along uh, in the history. We use this along as lucky course, lucky mm -hmm. like a the charming course. Like when you are wedding or when you like uh, have the meaningful moment. Yeah. Mm. So what you're wearing right now, this beautiful shirt. <laughs> yeah. What style of batik is this? Uh, this this one is in Indonesian. This one is Indonesia. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I like also I, I like a lot of Indonesian and the Malaysian culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think the ferment is a batik of the Indonesian is like a, the food for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The the concept of batik in Thailand is is very tied in with Phuket. What makes it so special for people here? I think Phuket has a special like, culture of the of the clothes than the another province in Thailand. Not only the uh, another like uh, Peranakan, because mm -hmm. like uh, we we call themselves as a Baba. Baba is mean the local born. Ah, okay. This is the hybrid hybrid between the Indo-Chinese and hybrid between like uh, the Peranakan culture. Mm. As you move into the Singapore, this is the signature of the Peranakan. Mm. But when this culture come to Thai, uh, we use the Sloan a uh, salon of the batik and we use the Thai fabric as like a uh, lace. Yeah. Mm. We call this dress it's Baba. It's only Phuket that have this this one. So in Phuket 
use this culture uh, in terms of like a hybrid with the Thai culture, some kind of mm -hmm. like that, yeah. Yeah, it's been quite interesting just listening to you talk about this. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like Phuket has been a melting pot for all these different yes. artistic ideas which have come in. Mm -hmm. uh, you said there's um, Chinese designs with specific colors and animals and then for uh, Islamic designs, they prefer the geometric shapes and Thai people love flowers and trees and, and other types of animals. Uh, all these pieces that you have here, would you say there's um, different styles or have they all come to be combined in certain styles as well? So for example, this yeah. one looks more in the Chinese style. Yes. Is this, what would be an example of the Islamic style? This is not Islamic style. Like, like nowadays, I think is the art is an open mind for okay. people. So uh, we use the batik as yayi, we use as the contemporary design. Like uh, we use the fabric uh, pattern and ah. we make them to be the contemporary. Ah, I see. We want to break it out, break it, break the eyes of the like religion barrier or belief barrier. Uh, mm. We want to say that a batik is more than the fabric. Batik is more than the culture, right? Yeah. It is the universal fashion, mm -hmm. some kind of like that. It's just art, yeah. So while there's been traditional yes. forms of these designs, you've taken these and you've modernized them. Yep. And have you made them something that anybody can come in and wear if they like yeah. it? Yeah, that's good, yeah, right. What is uh, the most favorite design that you have the most at favorite. this store? I think this is the first design of the, of, of the mm -hmm. dress in the Yayi. Like, uh, the main main concept of the design is we we think about the three things like a contemporary elegance yep. and unique Most of the yayi women is like a, the working woman who want to speak out who want to like a, not not fierce anymore like mm. you, this is a maximum woman confidence confidence, confidence. so it's, it's a very, like a, it's very colorful, bold colors yeah. and, and bold design yes so you can wear it and you can stand out. Yeah, you can stand out, yes. I know Thai people really love batik designs. In modernizing traditional form of art and design, what has the response been from both Thais and from foreigners? I think it's, it's kind of have all, all of to the bottom of the... They, yeah. both, they both like them? Yeah. Would you say that you sell to more Thais or to more foreigners? Nowadays, more Thais. Uh, before the COVID-19, uh, we sell more foreigner. But uh, when the COVID-19 comes to mm -hmm. the due to the this era, uh, I change the design. I change the, some kind of the target to mm -hmm. be Thai. But and then beyond the expectation, mm -hmm. uh, many Thai people love this design. Many Thai people uh, like uh, turn your face to look at this body. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when you go back to like uh, five years ago, uh, in Thai batik is used at the salon, not at the <laughs> desk. Yeah, we use batik at the same as the one there. Yeah. But we use the desk at like a Thai fabric, like a Thai seal. We, we can make a dress, but batik is cannot in five years ago. Uh, when my mom did come out to wear this batik to be the dress, I, I think Thai is beyond expectation to, <laughs> to interest in that. But, but now we have the inference, we have the foreigner to like uh, turn your face to into a distant one. I had heard that this store only uses local material, is that true? What kind of material do you use and how did you set that up with, um, with farms? This is, a, you can call this a local material also. Uh, we have a two source of material. Mm -hmm. One of this is a batik. This batik is come from Malaysia, Indonesia also, but mm -hmm. uh, Phuket people, local people, sell this one, mm -hmm. use this one as the one of the economics term, like uh, use one to sell this one. Uh, another batik that's like uh, made by ourselves, mm -hmm. like uh, create the pattern also and give them to the local, local people mm -hmm. to painting with them. Okay. And okay so, yeah. so we, we have to, yeah. Let's take a quick break, but we'll be back with more of Thailand today. Don't go away. In each era of Thailand, the cultural outfits have changed over time. How good would it be if we are able to mix and match and put some Thai identity into today's outfit? To expand Thailand's soft power to be more effectively well known. And as 
you can see, my dress today is related to topic. Three takeaways with Thailand today have three sides applying Thai batik to mix and match to your wardrobe. Let's check it out! First, drape the fabric across your shoulder like a sash. Bring the fabric to be draped over the shoulder and tied at the waist like this. It would make our bodies look very shapely. This look can be worn for shopping and going out in all places. Second, basic drape with belt. Bring a body cloth to drape over your neck and fasten it with a belt like this. The belt will upgrade your look to be more formal. You can even wear it to work and I bet you get a compliment from your boss and colleagues for sure. And finally, tie the batik around your waist, like this. If the previous two looks haven't impressed you enough, let's tie the fabric at the waist in the triangle shape. This look can be worn for a walk along the beach. So cute, isn't it? You see, just bring the batik and tie fabric that you have at home and adjust the way you wear it. It can change the look, change the style, and build us a lot of confidence. Don't forget to apply it into your daily lives and daily looks. See you again with three takeaways with Thailand today next time. Bye! You're watching Thailand today. We continue our discussion with Kun Pong Piwit, owner of Yayi Phuket. You are going to show us some of the clothes yeah, up close. Sure. Yeah. Like uh, the first one, we made it one the body to be like a uh, the dress. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. This is a uh, like a, a night shirt, like shirt, for yeah. uh, like a pajamas or something. Yeah, pajamas shirts. This is like a, a easy to use with them with mm -hmm. women. Like a, if. We have the design that's fully design of the body. When you mm -hmm. want to build yourself or when you want to dress yourself as the maximum of the dress or color, ah, I see. but sometimes we we don't want to like make the colorful color. Also, mm -hmm. uh, we want to make jeans and the t-shirt, right. white t-shirt, and we want to use this one mm -hmm. as a pajama or as right. a, as a clothes. And then so we have to tie up them. Too. Remember, we had talked before yeah. about how when you wear really colorful, bold yeah. batik, then it's like talking about your confidence. Well, yes. I, I feel like when you're going to sleep, maybe you don't need as much confidence, right? Like, yeah, right. So you've got these, and then uh, let's move over to this. Yes, it's like, like a shirt, so we make them to be like a more variant mm -hmm. of to use them, uh, have the variety of to use. Like uh, if you don't want to make a dress, all of the dress is a batik, mm -hmm. you can use like uh, the shirt and Make, and you can wear it with regular jeans. Just, just only mm -hmm. the, like, uh, the pants, right. just a short pants to be like uh, go to the beach and mm -hmm. uh, make with the bikini. So it's, it's fine. Oh, yeah, batik bikinis as well. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Do you sell those here at the store? Not, not, not this store. Not at store. this store, yeah. but you have other stores where you yeah. do sell it. And these ones here, these are these are the famous Yayi okay. dresses. Yes, it's the famous Yayi dresses, yeah. And we can talk with if you want to cocktail dining. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> if you want talk to cocktail about bowl, dining, yes. Yeah. I, I think uh, we decide this yeah. from the event. Uh -huh. That's my customer that you want to go. Like mm -hmm. uh, if you want to go like a uh, working out, like a uh, want to speak out yeah. as you as uh, like uh, the working woman or you right. have to confident, you can move like that. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to go to the cocktail party, or you can use about right. at the cocktail party. It's and not just about that bowl. red yeah, dress you anymore. You can yeah, spotlight you can step on it you up. on the right. yeah, with the body. Yes, okay. It's kind of fine to be. This one is you as you talk about the what the combination of the batik and the simple fabric mm -hmm. but we can use this one I, I can we combine some people don't want to like uh, all of their batik and we just combine with the, mm -hmm. another so it's fabric about ac accenting other clothes with yes. some batik designs yes as we can talk about the salon yeah this mm. one is traditional one that's yes talk, yeah. so one, sarong are yeah, sarong. Uh, traditional Thai dresses not Thai dresses, Phuket dresses. Phuket dresses specifically. Yeah. Okay. Batik slow. Yeah. Ah. If if you use the seal, it's a Thai slow. Is there a yeah. different 
Is there? Oh, I see. Yeah. So, so the Thai Thai sarong is is purely silk. But if you're using a different type of material with yeah. the batik, then yeah. it's this then is it's hand Phuket batik. style. This is hand. Okay. This is called batik to miss. Ah, so this this one's hand done. Yeah. This one's done by hand. So someone someone drew this on. If you talk about the like uh, the generation of the batik, this is a generation two. Generation one is batik tulis. It's uh -huh. used the janting to be pen on hand on ah. the fully hand. But this one is the like a uh, industrial culture is come mm. to. We use like uh, the box painting, but also use a hand, but box printing yeah. And the generation three, we use a uh, like a printing or or ah, printing. Okay, yeah. so the last one was hand hand drawn. Yeah. And this one's a uh, screen or printing. Yeah, screen printing. So okay. And for now, we have the the signature, the signature pen ah. by Yayi, only Yayi. Yeah, we have the lofter, Phuket lofter, <laughs> and have the like a Peranakan art. Yep. Yeah, yeah, the, and the pearl on this is it called the Phuket. We want to speak out the Phuket culture inside of the the pattern mm. inside of them. Yeah, this is a one one of the signature that we make. It. Yeah, that one's really cool. You know, it, it reminds me of. The back of a, like a, a deck of playing cards or something, where you have this really like interesting yes. design. Yes, yes, yes. I also noticed that you've got these bags for sale too. Yes. This is also something that's done locally. Uh, this is locally from from the like a patalung. Yeah. We okay. Use the from the patalung. Yeah. This so, also so it's a reed. Yeah, reed. Ah. Yeah. I love the design of this shirt, and uh, doing this episode with you, I I feel very underdressed. Right, I'm not making a bold statement with with this simple pinstripe. Would it would it be possible for me to try it on? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Okay, look at that. Mind if I roll up the sleeves? Yes, sure. Okay. Kind of. Oh, feels nice. This is very good. Yes. Thank you. In addition to the yayi and yep. batik clothes, you've also got accessories, right? So you have these yeah. these bags and you have the hats. Yes. These are also made locally? Yeah, locally, fully, fully local. This one they call mm -hmm. sea salt. Same kind of the pineapple trail. Oh, like yeah. the, the husk. husk. It's yes. made from the husk of pineapple. Yeah. Oh, that's so interesting. So this is this made, one, yeah. made from pineapple. Yeah. Is I don't know, it's pretty, pretty small. I'll for, try it. For the kids. <laughs> it's for kids, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do you have over here? You've got um, scarves. Yes, scarf. Uh, scarf, but, but this is a printing scarf that uh, we use the batik uh -huh. art to be make this scarf. Yeah, right. And small bags and shoes. Yeah, small bag is the come from when when I cut the dress and they have mm -hmm. like a lot of the like uh, the fabric that they mm -hmm. don't want to use. Uh, so oh, it that's, make oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So when you've made uh, a big piece of cloth, yeah. Let me let me try to wrap my head around this. When you're doing when you're doing a batik design, when you've screened it, you actually screen a big piece of cloth yes. first, and All then right. you cut it and you make it into the clothes, but yeah. there's going to be these scraps left yeah, over. Scrap, and then you use the scraps to make these bags so it doesn't go to waste. Yeah. <sighs> but this one is uh, many people love it mm -hmm. because like, uh, they easy to use them. And yes. They go, mm, it's yeah, high. great yeah. for putting your, your phone and belonging in when you go to the beach. Yeah, and also the accessory for the ah, Phuket. And they're very, very yeah. Thai style accessories, yes. Not Thai style. It's Specifically the Phuket. Peranakan, Peranakan style. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, they have the name of them. When the people mm -hmm. use the long and the batik or dress or fully traditional, yeah. we use like a, a this one. It's to be like a, the brush. Mm -hmm. The brush to connect the dress together. I said Thai style because when I look at these accessories, yeah. the first thing that jumps into my mind is that idea of traditional dance. I would see dancers wearing something similar to this. Traditional uh, accessory is like have the important for the traditional dress of the Phuket outfit mm -hmm. because uh, in the traditional outfit they, they don't have like a, they don't have buttons they don't have buttons ah they or, just take or, wrap or them. they don't have buttons ah. because they want to make the dress at the treasure mm -hmm. to connect to the daughter to connect to the another mm -hmm. people so uh, we they use the this rules 
they use the accessory to be like a, the, the butt. Yeah. Oh, they use the accessories as the buttons. Yeah. So they would have belts and brooches. Yes. Uh, right. And hooks and stuff. Right. Um, how do you think Batik your, and your store, Yayi, has promoted Phuket culture? I think we also promoted Phuket culture, fully promoted. We talk about myself as a make in Phuket all the time. Mm -hmm. And we in believe that I, I want to like speak out like a Phuket is have a like more than sea, more than pool, more than like nightclub on the night. Mm -hmm. we, we have the culture, right. really beautiful culture. Just as like uh, the building is also the style of the fabric, the style of the culture. This mm -hmm. culture is very beautiful, and I think another people should to know about them. You yeah. come to Phuket and you can buy this one as a one of the souvenir. This is fine for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. or you can pick up that one, like a uh, dress that one or mix that one on yourself as a simple dress or uh, as a the dress that you want. I, I think this is the best way that I, I want to expect to be done. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have a little bit of time left yeah. and I want to talk a little bit about some of the decorations that you have in your store as well. I couldn't help notice this. Oh, this one. Okay. What, what is this exactly? Uh, this one is the, like a, the rare item in Thailand. Uh, it's not the Dutch, yeah. The very, very what do you hard. use it for? When you wear the long and you uh -huh. wear the yonya, you do this one at the back. Oh, you use this as a bag? Yeah. This what, one is what is it made from? It's, it's, it's made from the the wrist. Oh, okay, yeah. I see, I see. So it inside it's actually yeah. wicker work, but it looks like they you've covered it with some sort of resin. Yes, correct. Yeah. Oh, interesting. The rare item, uh, they have yeah. like a two a community, two community to can can do oh, this one. Oh, so they only like only two little communities make this Thailand, now. Uh, can can make because this it's one. such a it's such an old style yeah, item old style that nobody really really yeah. uses it anymore. But it is. It's so interesting because I haven't seen anything done quite like this before. Yeah. Now all the designs that we've looked at so far are really cool, but it begs the question, what do you see for the future of Yayi and Batik? I expect the future. I want to spread out the Batik Phuket, not only the dress, not only the cotton dress, but, mm -hmm. but now we are looking for like uh, the wetsuit. Wetsuits? Like, yeah, the beach suits, beach wear and wetsuit. I, oh, I think see, like, oh, uh, that's people, cool. I, I love to surf. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, when I, I go to surf, like uh, the pan for the wetsuit is not like, uh, not have the batik, right? Yeah, yeah it's but, not bold. But I, what I think is batik who get this can be like mm -hmm. on that. So also in the surf painting. So I, I think it's for the future, nearly mm -hmm. future. Like uh, we now we are working on like uh, to experiment the material to to make the batik as a wetsuit. Also, yeah. Yeah. Right oh, now. and like a rash guard or something. Rash as well. guard, yes, something like that. Well, let me know when you do. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I want one. Now, if someone watching wanted to buy some of these beautiful clothes, how should they get in contact with you? Okay, you can contact with the Facebook uh, Yayi Phuket or Instagram Yayi underscore the official Yayi official or you can add line as I Yayi Phuket also. Unfortunately, we've now run out of time, but thank you so much once again to Kun Pong Piwit. Next time you're in Phuket and looking for beautiful, bold outfits, make sure to stop by Yayi or check them out online. That's it for our show today, but we broadcast every Friday at 11 p.m. on NBT2 HD and every Saturday at 9.30 p.m. on NBT World, as well as live on our NBT World YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and comment on our Facebook page, Thailand Today Online. I'm Michael Neal. Sorry, crap.